Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC, back with another video for you guys here today. And if you didn't catch my last Final Cut Pro tutorial, I explained what I'm doing here. A whole series of just quick and easy beginner Final Cut Pro tutorials. So, for those of you just getting started, switching over from Adobe, DaVinci, anything like that, and you want to get going, you bought yourself a new MacBook Pro, or an iMac, iMac Pro, or a Mac Pro if you're a baller, <laughs> and you want to get going on Final Cut Pro, these are the videos you want to watch you just want to get started so picking up from where we left off last time where i imported all my footage and now we're going to talk about timeline settings and how to get your timeline going so got it up here let's just get going so you guys remember i imported all my footage right imported my arrow review my info my all my footage is here my audio my footage everything like that you want to get that on the timeline right you don't just drag it on there you don't just grab it and drag it no you want to hit new project, name it the same thing you named the other, what you named your library, Final Cut Pro, and say, I named this a little different, Timeline Tutorial. Is that it? Are you done? No. So if you see here, you're going to see it says video set based on first video clip properties. In some cases, that may be good. In other cases, that may not be good. If you shot some B-roll, some slow-mo, you want to open up with a sequence of B-roll and it's all 120p, you do not want your timeline set in 120p. So you do not want it set based on first video clip properties. And what that means is the first clip you drag into your timeline and start working on, the whole timeline is going to be, all the timeline set is going to be set on that video clip. You want to hit custom settings. So you wanna go in, make sure your video format, I edit in 4K, edit export in 4K. It's up to you, whatever gear you're using, you don't have to do 4K, you can set it to whatever gear you're using. Obviously resolution, that's what my camera shoots in. Frame rate, I do 23.98. I do shoot 24P, but technically it's 23.98, 23.97. Um, so I don't shoot like a full 24P. But if you shoot in 30p or 60p or anything like that, you could change that here. But I ended all my stuff in 23.98. It's just my preference. You don't have to do that. That's just how I set up. I shoot in a ProRes 422 codec. Just is super easy to work with, super easy to edit in Final Cut Pro. So I shoot everything in the codec of ProRes. And then your audio stereo, and I leave everything at 48 hertz. You don't want to start bumping or bumping up the hertz and make sure audio, it'll mess up your audio if you start bumping up the hertz or lowering the hertz or anything like that. Leave the stereo, obviously, most people aren't watching your YouTube videos on surround sound using their phones. Most phones are mono, a lot of newer phones are, are stereo, so you just want to leave that alone. So, as long as you got your timeline settings set, you hit OK. Boom, a Phantom Ghost Black Timeline is going to pop up and you're ready to start editing. But what do you do? What you want to do is you can do two things. You can just drag it on the timeline. Cool, that works as well. Drag on your timeline, now you're ready to start editing. Obviously everything here on the timeline is what you're going to start editing. Or you could just highlight it, make sure it's yellow, make sure it's highlighted and then hit E and that'll drop it on the timeline as well. So definitely up to you on how you want to drop it in the timeline. You can just drag or you can hit E and that'll drop it here on the timeline ready to be edited. So again, super simple tutorial, real quick, real easy, just how to set your timeline settings, how to get your timeline going. If you have any other questions about this, let me know down below. Stay tuned for the next video in this series. If you haven't seen the other video, go ahead and watch that. Super quick, super easy video. We're gonna keep this, we're gonna keep this train going. So I'm just gonna cover some Final Cut Pro tutorial basics. I hope you guys like this one. Super easy. If you liked it, a lot of stuff goes into making these videos. Hit like, show your support, hit subscribe. More of this to come soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is MBDC. Peace.